I've told you all I know. Te conté todo lo que sé. El all está delante de la oración, igual que acá. Este es el relative clause. Love is all you need. Este es el relative clause, es a lo que me estoy refiriendo. El relative clause está reemplazando al now. Now, themselves and each other. Antes que se duerman. Wake up, wake up. Well, relative pronouns, uh, reflexive pronouns, I mean, are myself, yourself, himself, themselves. Well, you already know this. Well, you will use this reflexive pronouns when the subject and the object are the same. Notice this, this is very important. Subject, object are the same. Notice here, I cut myself. You could hurt yourself. I am going to buy myself. Make yourselves at home. Aquí tenemos un infinitivo. This is an infinitive. So I suppose that the pronoun is you. Because I'm saying make yourselves at home. I hope you were you're enjoying yourself. After prepositions, which are the prepositions of, at, by, after. So they are the prepositions. You can use them with or without prepositions. Okay. Uh, we can use the, these reflexive pronouns too for emphasis. So, do you like the cake? I made it. So, if you write the sentence until this part, this is perfect. But you can add the reflexive pronoun to make it stronger, to add emphasis. I made it myself. My daughter can dress herself. But always, notice here, I, myself. My daughter is she, so I use herself. The manager, he, because I write himself. So this is the use of the reflexive pronouns. And each other. Well, you already know that the meaning of each other is uno al otro. ¿no? It expresses the idea to one another. They look at each other. Se miraron uno al otro. We send each other. Se nos enviamos nosotros mismos. They hate each other. Uno al otro. We've known each other. Remember, uh, reflexive pronouns, always the pronoun and the reflexive pronoun, they need to be the same. You should, uh, for example, she looked at herself in the mirror. Bueno, acá no se...